Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Crystal and my Mono Water Run. Unfortunately, this is the problem with the most grinding to do, to be honest. Um, I have been um, working my um, Pokemon hard in this run, so I really need to beat up, build up all of them, just about. Outside for Alligator and, um, you know, Lapras, aka Bowen. <sighs> I don't want to rely on Bowen for everything, but the way it's going, yeah, we might be basically running through the fourth. Only a handful of water Pokemon. Definitely need to get the rest ready, though it should be easier at this point to start doing that, to be honest. Because once we get to the victory roll, we can start grinding on um, high-level Gravelers and stuff, so we'll have lots of targets we can mess with. Eh, rather easily at that. Um, Spark. Definitely can't leave Pomboy out front for forever, but for an easy um pickoff or tentacle, just fine. Eh, not a bad payout though. I mean, I want someone with a ground move up front because our first opponent's probably gonna end up being a Magneton again. Uh, actually, I think we can bypass most of the trainers on um, in Crystal, which I may just do to save on time. I got other stuff I want to get to, like, um, lunch. <laughs> oh, well, maybe we'll get lucky and it won't do anything this turn. Oh, nope, didn't get me. Take that, Tentacruel. Ha! You got to move, but you wasted it. <sighs> I don't know why he thinks we really care. Like, does it really matter? It's not like I can fly to any new destinations or anything. I haven't been anywhere yet. I don't have a Pokemon that can fly anyway. But the only time that's going to be useful is if I decide to, um, leave the, um, Indigo Plateau and head all the way back towards, um, Pilot Town or something. Not Pilot Town. Um, I can't remember what the name of the starting town is in this game anymore. It's so unimportant, I didn't write it down. Jeez. New Bar Town, that's right, jeez. We can see how much I um care about the town names when it comes to um starting towns, right? There's no gym battles or anything there, so why would you bother remembering the name? <sighs> okay, let's try and sneak across. And we'll move Killer Croc up front. I mean, I'm assuming Bowen has the amulet coin, but... Like I said, if we're going to get caught by that one guy, I'm assuming he's still going to have a Magneton to start with, so being able to bypass that's a good idea. Oh yeah, bypassing most of the trainers, because that's just how I like to roll. I might come back and fight them later, to be honest. Um, they do provide good experience, or better experience than I can get from um, fighting in a cave. Okay. Then this way a bit. Oh yeah. Why could almost always that house without having to fight anybody? I don't think we can bypass that one guy that uses Espeon though. I don't think that's in the cards. Oh eh, whatever. Go for a little extra experience here. Oh yeah. Didn't stand a ghost of a chance. Tentacruel. Actually has a tentacruel. Tentacruel is its evolved form. Jeez. Just need more sleep, but that's basically what I've been doing the last two days for the most part. It's just catching up on disease, man. <sighs> Done some grinding, but for the most part I've just been sleeping the better part of my days away. Well, if Richard wants to battle, Richard can battle all right. I don't think it's going to go well for him, though. I mean, we do have a strong bite attack to whip out. Yeah, I'll raise your side beam with a bite attack. Darn, not as effective as I thought it'd be. Well, let's try digging, then. 
Well, I guess it makes sense. Darn. Guess I should've went with Surf. I don't know. At least I would've got stabbed with it. Killer Croc's bites aren't as bad as I thought they'd be. Uh. Darn. <sighs> oh, yeah. Darn it. Who knows what she bought? And it's probably not going to be useful anyway. It's not like she's going to go out into the store and buy me a Master Ball or something. Okay. Yep. We rested all right. Okay. Weird. She just all of a sudden stopped. And yeah, it is a bit strange in this one you actually can bypass that guy, because in the other versions, you know, they don't give you that option. Or maybe they just realize that battling trainers is not the really important part to most people in this game, because most of the trainers are a joke. Um, but Sifius absolutely had to win at any cost. I felt so sorry for his Pokemon. They're battered and bruised. And it looks like he doesn't give them proper medicine either. One of them had a weird growth. <laughs> well, let's go for it. Definitely I'll lose the speed advantage here. What, I won? Man, what happened to Rapidash? It was like one of the fastest Pokemon in the last game. Why all of a sudden is it struggling to keep up with even a crocodile? Huh. Don't get it. But, you know, whatever. Okay. That's not that long since our last fight, so... How do we win that much money to warrant getting a Pokedile? Eh, whatever. Well, next time we'll be on Victory Road. And yeah, I know, this is probably the least interesting of the um, episodes I'm doing today. On the grounds that I barely fought anybody, and the few I did fight basically curb stomped. Till next time, then. See ya.